Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon, this uh, rather cold but dry afternoon. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 22. We read these words. His own wrongdoings will trap the wicked and he will be held by ropes of his sin. So his own wrongdoings. Paul tells us in the New Testament that we reap what we sow and the wages of sin is death. So that sense of having to give an account of our wrongdoings has to be there. Otherwise, what's the point? The reality of God overlooking sin at the judgment is a foolish conclusion because how will all the injustices that have been done to people ever be rectified in regards to the justice being upheld in, say, like in a court of law? No, God is going to judge all the unrighteousness. He would rather do it through allowing his son Jesus to deliver us from our wrongdoings. But if we don't let Jesus take our sins away, then we will be given account of our wrongdoings. And what is a wrongdoing? A wrongdoing is a willful choice to do what you know isn't reflective of who God is. And who God is, is a good God. And so he wants us to go around life every day doing good things, not bad. Now, we're not doing these good things in order for God to like us or accept us because the reality of that could never be realised. We could never be good enough in order for God to accept us. But because of Jesus, God accepts us. In Jesus, God fully accepts us. And now we're in Jesus, we can go around doing good things and avoiding wrong doings, wrong actions, wrong considerations. And realise that if we don't apply that principle, then we still will have to give account. Even Christians will have to give an account of those things that are wrong within their lives, which is why we need to keep a short account with God, that we might need to go every night to the place of sleep, knowing that there's nothing in our hearts that we are responsible for that we haven't resolved, or a forgiveness that we need to apply to someone else who has in some way offended us. And it says this, that your own wrongdoings will trap the wicked and he will be held by ropes of his sin. And so that sense of being held captivity as a result of the wrong things that each one of us has done. You know, sin, it never leaps, it creeps. It creeps up on us because it slowly entices us to do the wrong thing. Next time you are tempted in some way and you see, as it were, the wrong um, decision, try and pull yourself up short and say, no, that's not for me. That isn't who I am now. I am a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, be blessed. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday.